That's right, a lot going on this weekend. It's St. Patrick's Day weekend. I know we've got events starting even this afternoon and this evening. So what can you expect this evening? Looking pretty good tomorrow morning. Pretty good tomorrow afternoon. A little bit more iffy as a few showers are set to roll in right now. The radar is sweeping clear across eastern Virginia, and North Carolina. Just a couple of clouds early this morning. And notice we had a few showers moving through the Del Marva, but clear skies out there this afternoon. That'll be the case later this evening. Here's the next storm system already gathering strength. The main area of low pressure moving through parts of Kansas and Nebraska. Ahead of it, we've got these showers that will be developing. We'll look for a few showers to roll through here tomorrow afternoon. Not looking at a washout, but there will be a few showers in the region. And we'll time that out with Futurecast first this evening. Mainly clear skies. Winds generally out of the northwest will mean a little bit cooler up across the eastern shore. Areas closer to the water. Temperatures by 7 o'clock, right around 50 degrees in our inland locations. And later this evening, most spots are down into the 30s. And we'll start the day with temperatures close to freezing. And a little bit of a wind coming in out of the north. Notice clear skies at 6 a.m. Few high thin clouds streaming in around 10 o'clock. Of course, that's the start for the big Ocean View Parade, St. Patrick's Day Parade in Norfolk. Temperatures in the low to mid 40s. And then by noontime, clouds start to thicken up and into the afternoon. We'll look for a few showers. Notice not a well organized area of rain rolling through tomorrow afternoon. Just a few showers in the area. Keep the umbrella handy and the raincoat handy because again, you could get caught in one of these showers. Temperatures generally in the lower 50s with a light wind coming in out of the south. A little bit of a break tomorrow evening, then tomorrow night. A few more showers rolling through as a weak front passes by 6 a.m. Sunday. A couple of showers as we start the day, but notice by 730 the start for the half marathon and the full marathon. I think most of the showers will be working their way out. Winds picking up out of the north and we'll start to see some clearing as we go through the race. And again, you'll be facing that pretty strong headwind. Winds out of the north at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Sunshine through the afternoon as you're celebrating the end of the race or anything else you have going on Sunday afternoon. Lots of sunshine out there right now. Our camera up in Hampton at the Virginia Air and Space Center, 50 degrees. Winds coming out of the north northeast at 16 miles per hour. 57 in Franklin, 55 Williamsburg, a little bit cooler near the bay. 45 in Saluda and Tangier Island, 44 in Melfa. It's 50 in Currituck, 47 down in Manio, and a few 60s back towards Ahoski. So later tonight, mainly clear, unseasonably cold, a low of 32 degrees. And tomorrow for your St. Patrick's Day, up to 52 with increasing clouds during the day. And those scattered afternoon showers will continue into tomorrow night. 38 degrees, an early morning shower, otherwise partly to mostly sunny skies for your Sunday with a high temperature of 50 degrees. For Monday, we're looking at a high of 53, and then Monday night, rain moves in, an occasional rain on Tuesday, a high of 57 degrees. Wednesday, starting to look a little bit iffy. Right now, we're looking at a chilly rain. As the cold air works its way in, there is a chance that we could see a little bit of a mix possible late Wednesday, maybe an early morning flurry on Thursday. Otherwise, it's just going to be cold by the middle part of next week. Temperatures only in the mid 40s, up to 49 degrees on Friday.